Most organizations using Highlands on base have document retention needs. In fact, many already have retention policies established, but aren't sure how to begin implementation. That's where Imaging Office Systems can step in to guide you through application and management of those policies. Today we're going to review retention cycles on two sample document types. First, offer letters. These have been configured with dynamic retention, oftentimes referred to as event-based retention. In this case, an employee's termination is the event. It is population of the associated termination date that triggers a one-year retention cycle. In this example, dated June 16, 2021, the system performs its daily internal review of offer letters with termination dates. These are the expected results. Andrew's offer letter will be excluded from disposition because it was placed on a legal hold. Until such time as the records manager releases that hold, the document will remain in on base to pass its retention expiration. Dan's offer letter will remain as it has only been under retention for approximately one month. Ashton's offer letter has been sent to workflow for evaluation. It will then be submitted for purge. An evaluation step is common when using dynamic retention. This allows for the final review of a document prior to disposition. The second document type we're going to review today is resumes. These have been configured with static retention, which is typically based on a document creation or capture date. In this example, dated June 16, 2021, resumes are configured to be kept for a year based on document date. Kevin's will be excluded from disposition because it was placed on a legal hold. Until such time as the records manager releases that hold, the document will remain in on base past its retention expiration. Jeff and Darla's will automatically be purged with no review prior. This differs from the process for offer letters, as static retention does not use an evaluation step. The other resumes in this list will remain as they are, still within the one-year retention cycle, and not due for disposition. OnBase maintains detailed records of retention activity. The evaluation processor report displays predisposition activity on document types under dynamic retention while the purge processor report displays purge activity for all document types. These reports can be configured to not only show what was processed, but also what was excluded and why. As you see for those dated June 16, 2021, the evaluation processor report shows exclusion of Andrew's offer letter for submission to workflow because it was on a legal hold. However, it shows successful submission of Ashton's offer letter to workflow for evaluation. The purge processor report highlights exclusion of Kevin's resume for purge submission because it was on legal hold. However, it shows a successful purge of Ashton's offer letter as well as Jeff and Darla's resumes. If you feel your organization would benefit from certified retention policies established by legal counsel, governance rules as a service may be the perfect fit. This industry-leading solution provides on-base systems with subscription-level access to industry and governmentally regulated retention policies. The policies are actively reviewed and updated by the Governance Rules as a Service legal team, as dictated by those institutions. Please contact your Imaging Office Systems account manager to learn more.